Should we address, though, the undead elephant in the room from last night? You know, that's that's what everybody's talking about on the Internet. It's already, um, I mean, they've already been talking about it in the chat right now. They've well, been I, mean, about- I mean, if you guys want to talk about the, the, uh, the match, the, the, the match. zombie, the zombie, uh, uh, lumberjack, ma- the zomberjack match. <laughs> that sounds good, huh? Sounds all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, well, you, first of all, you know, I was, you know, we was talking earlier about it. Yeah. And, and you said that the, the zomberjack match didn't actually. You know, it didn't bother you that much. It didn't bother me as much as other people did. Why? Why didn't it bother you as much? Because, and I and I told you this too, and and I'm glad that we're talking about it now because I said when I watched it, I saw a check. Right. I mean, that's what I saw. I saw. Oh, this seems like a, this seems like money's attached to it because the show opened with a voiceover with Batista, and it's showing all the stories that are happening now and then splicing in footage from his movie. I said, oh, okay, that's cool tie-in. And then the opening on cam of the show, they talk about Army of the Dead, now on Netflix, starring Z- Dave Batista, directed by Zack Snyder. Okay, that was two. Then they show, they go to commercial after one of the matches, they show the full trailer for the movie. They come back from commercial. That's when Johnny uh, Drip Drip shows uh, uh, opens the door to the Lumberjacks and it's all the zombies. All right, now I'm up to four. Right, times they mentioned it. Then they literally come right back to camera. Adnan Verk talks about Army of the Dead in select theaters and Netflix. Then they have the whole movie with this, I mean, the whole a match with the zombies. So I counted six commercials, including that long space of, I think, 12 minutes or whatever the Lumberjack match was. At times they mentioned Army of the Dead. So I was curious, and I went and I looked at what the average cost of a 30 second commercial is on Monday Night Raw. Average cost of a 30-second commercial on Raw is $13,000 to run a commercial on Raw, right? Thirteen grand, according yeah. to the PW Torch, all right? Think about that. That's for 30 seconds. They got six drops from Netflix who's got Buku money. They made yeah. some money on this match. That's why it didn't bother me that much. Well, you know. This was a, this was a check. You know, that's was what... it silly? Was it silly? Yes. Was it stupid? Sure. Absolutely. Was it the greatest thing in the history of wrestling? Nowhere close. Is it near the bottom of that list? Absolutely. Well, but did it bother I, you know, me as much as other people? No. You know, I look at it like this. You know, it's like doing a commercial, you know, yeah. um, or doing something for, there again, a movie. And we do it live. Um, just like, just say, for instance, the movie The Wrestler. We actually actually have to sh- shoot a scene at the show. You know, and it might it might have been that death match that Mickey Rock was in. You remember right, that? Right, right, you know, yeah. yeah. Don't actually think Mickey Rock was at that ROH show um, just to be on it. You know, what I mean? but we needed the audience. We need the ambiance to make everything right. Um, like you say, um, I'm all down for getting a check um, and, and tying it into, you know, uh, my, 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 my product, my show here. Um, we never, we don't know, you know, how much more money is going to be, um, you know, dished out, or things later, you know, getting getting closer. Um, Batista made some money, perhaps as well. You know, doing the, you know, um, you know, voiceover, get a voiceover, kicking, mm-hmm. kicking the show off. Um, so, so my thing is, man, when you know, I was looking at even Chris Jericho um, had said that set wrestling back thirty years, but it was after someone had said the blood and guts match set wrestling back. 30 years. So I understand the ju- the, the, the jab back and forth, but Chris Jericho knows um, that that thing was about getting a check. Um, it was about a promotion, promotion, uh, uh, promotional tool to actually get this out there to get people to get to the drive in. I'll get to the, the movie theater, to see this thing, whatnot. I'm, I'm saying drive in because they, they showed my, my documentary at a drive in. Yeah. It's, they still got them. You know what I mean? I'm not. <laughs> People are like Booker's whole driver. <laughs> so you they still I'm with got, you though. They still got him here. So I to, I totally understand it. But a lot of people from the outside looking in, when they see something like that, they go, "Man, this is corny. This is cheesy." Sure. And, and, and this is the thing. This is the, the the part that gets me the most. Why are we doing that? <laughs> That's the part that gets me all the time. Why are we doing this stuff? Who well, who is we? 
that's 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 what I want to know. Yeah, know who is we? Who is we? But because people feel like they have a little bit of ownership, you know, when they watch the product for so long, they feel like it's you know part. Of, they own a little bit of it. I, I understand that as well too. I get it, and and look, I, I understand that it was you know was it pure wrestling with a high work rate and and, and a great spots and all these things. Sure, no, no. Um, but I want to point this out for the people who said zombies really in 2021 we're talking about zombies i do want to point this out because gino who's a, a, a reality wrestling star on our roster he tweeted this out he said hey guys you know the undertaker was technically a zombie as well <laughs> <laughs> i said that's a great point that's a great point he was undead with an urn you know what i mean i mean things things like this have happened in wrestling before but uh, look obviously this wasn't meant to be more than what it was um, it was meant to be something to promote Dave Batista's new movie on Netflix. And guess yeah. what? If I'm the studio, I'm thrilled. Zombies was the number one trend on Twitter last night. I'm hey. thrilled. Hey, bro. WWE, we're going to go through you now to promote all of our stuff. Bro, and like I say, if, if I if I could, uh, get something out of it, you can get something out of it. We can get something out yes. of it together. Um, we all win. Um, there again, this is entertainment. And when people... You know, start taking ownership of the product. I always, how many times have you heard me say, it, "Man, man, that's their, that's they stuff." Yeah. You know what I mean? If, if I want, you know, to you know, run something, I gotta, I gotta create my own. That's why I created Reality of Wrestling, just so I can, you know, call the shots, you know, create the storylines, you know, the angles that I want to do, uh, the angles that I always want to do. Maybe that, you know, I pitch, you know, maybe once upon a time. You know, uh, that's the only way. But when you're dealing with somebody else's stuff, man, you know, that's theirs, man. They're going to do it their way uh, and get, just get it. Understand it, because I don't think that's ever going to change. No. And two two more things I want to say about it. One is I think that those were all NXT trainees who were made up like the zombies. They yeah. were actually pretty. They're pretty good looking zombies. Like well, they actually, looked real. Actually, one of them wasn't. One of them was a. Uh, old school wrestler from back in the day, but I, I can't. I, I'm not going to disclose who he was. If he haven't disclosed himself, I'm not going to disclose it. You know. Oh man, well I got to figure out who that is. But at the end of the day, I bet you they all got a check from that, bro. He he, he, was, he was in the hallway. The guy, the guy that I'm talking about, he was in the hallway, and he goes, "Hey Booker, I'm a big fan of yours." And I go, "Yeah, right." <laughs> and the thing is. I wouldn't have known who he was if someone had said it earlier um, and told me, you know, such and such was there um, at the show. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, I want to know who that is. But, 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 but shout out. I bet you they all got a check for being zombies. So that's good for them. And lastly, The Miz was the perfect guy to put in this role. You know, I talked to The Miz uh, yesterday. Uh, he was um, actually hanging out with me and Ric Flair. I'm at the bar. Um, along with Peter Rosenberg, just kicking it. Um, we all got out of the building a little early, and and I just want to compliment the Miz on the Bad Bunny match, you know, being able to go out there and be a general and, and work work that thing and, and work it to the utmost, make that kid look better than he ever could have made himself look. Um, and those, those guys, you know, as far as a tag team go, um, Johnny and um, the Miz, they go out there and they do their job on a, on a weekly, monthly, yearly basis. Um, people wonder why the Miz have have stuck around for so long. Man, this guy's all about going out there and getting the job done. No matter what the, you know, I, I always talk about me getting the script and just whatever the script is, I'm just trying to, you know, make it whatever. Miz was talking about that the night they had to do, you know, uh, pay-per-view, a couple of pay-per-views back uh, when they was um, working with Bad Bunny, and they had to come out and do the rap song. Remember that? Yeah, they came out on stage and they did a rap song. He say they got to the building that day and told, "Hey guys, y'all gonna be rapping tonight, okay?" And this is somebody who's never did a rap before, right? Had to go out on television, you know, him and Morrison, and do it live. Do you know how nerve wracking that is? Yeah, that it's gotta Butterfly. be crazy. Can you can you imagine? The, the guy is good. And I give the Miz props, um, not only uh, for last night, but what he's been doing for the last 10 years. Stick around, guys. You're in the Hall of Fame.